Hello crafty friends! My name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And it is one of the best days of the month. It is Sheet Load of Cards Day. I hope you'll stick around, get a look at the new sketch, see the first set I made, and find out how you can download the free printable. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. The first of the month always brings a new sheet load of cards. And let me tell you, the November 2022 printable is packed with a couple special things that I can't wait to share with you. Today I will of course be debuting the new sheet load of cards and then tomorrow I will be back to show you how I made my first set and my team of collaborators will be joining me to share their sets as well. I have team members here on YouTube and over on Instagram, and everybody is linked in that description box below, so you can go ahead and subscribe and follow if you don't already. Let's take a look at the November 2022 sheet load of cards. Like I mentioned before, the new sheet load of cards is special in a couple of ways. As you can tell by the sketch, we are going to be making a split panel card this month. And what that means is there is a little section cut out of the card front so you can get a peek at the inside of the card. I thought this would be fun to just keep with that A2 size, but change up the layout a little bit. Another special thing is how many cards we're going to yield this month, and that is 18. Yep, 1-8. And we're going to get that with three pieces of pattern paper, three plus pieces of cardstock for matting, and nine pieces of cardstock for your card bases. Now, I know that some of you definitely won't want to make all 18 cards, so as always, I do give you single card dimensions down here if you like the card sketch, but you don't need 18. Now, you could always choose to cut fewer of the pieces from each of your pattern papers as well to get fewer cards, but I thought with the upcoming holiday season, and I know lots of you like to make cards to donate, that some of you might appreciate getting 18 cards from just one sheet load. I did try to make some special notes on both pages of the printable to help you put these together, but don't forget I will be back tomorrow with the process and I'm going to give you some tips as I create mine. As always, sheet load is just a good jumping off point for you, so if you ever want to make it your own or use some of my alternative ideas, feel free to do that. Now, if you're going to be making a sheet load and sharing it online, I do have some hashtags up at the top. And in the description box below, I have the Show Us Your Sheet Load Guidelines video, which tells you how you can also send in a card for the end of the month video. I always love to see what you're creating. As always, Sheet Load is a two-page free printable, which make sure to keep watching to find out how you can download it. And on the second page, I give you the cutting guides. I do show you here kind of how those split panel card bases should look, but then I give you more detailed instructions here on how to cut those. You're basically going to make a card base like normal, and then you'll cut a two and three quarter inch off the section, which you'll keep and use on the cards and then you cut at another one and a quarter inch section and then you can hang on to that for further projects. I did mention earlier that for the matting and sentiment pieces you would need three pieces of cardstock plus and that's because when I was done getting as many CS1 and CS2 pieces onto cardstock you needed just a little bit extra to finish cutting those. So here on the circles you can use like one and a half pieces of cardstock or if you have lots of scraps use those as well. Speaking of circles, the printable does call for two and a quarter inch circles, but if you want to change the shape or size, feel free to do whatever fits your needs. 
on the left is the cutting guide for the pattern paper. You see that this month we hardly have any scraps left. So maybe you'll want to try to put those on the inside of some of the cards in littler pieces. A couple other things I would like to point out on the printable is my Instagram account, which I have down here, and all of my social media accounts are linked at the bottom of the description box. So if you're over on Instagram or TikTok, I would love a follow. On the first page, I do give a shout out to my channel members, and I just want to say again, thank you to all of you who support me each month. You keep me creating here on YouTube and Sheetload of Cards free for all. If you're ever interested in finding out about the perks of channel membership, I do have a link in the description box below. Memberships start as low as $1.99 a month. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the supplies that I use for my first set of cards. For my sentiment this month, I decided to go with some Tailored Expressions products. I will be using the Get the Word Out Hello Stamp and Die. And I wanted to pair that with a smaller sentiment, so my cards say Hello Friend. And I'm using Friend, which is another stamp from Tailored Expressions. I actually got this during one of the virtual stamp joys, so it is lots of images from different sets. Now, speaking of Stamp Joy, if you're not watching it or you haven't already, my daughter and I did attend Stamp Joy 2022 in October in Des Moines, and I have a vlog series about it. We had tons of fun, and I would love for you to check those videos out. I will have the playlist linked in that description box below. The ink I use for my sentiments is Gina K Designs Tranquil Teal. I thought that went well with some of the acorn pieces in the pattern paper. And speaking of pattern paper, I chose these three pieces from Simple Stories Harvest Market line. I, of course, love fall and wood grain, and so since we're in November, I thought it would be a great chance to use papers that have a fall theme. I chose this paper because I just love those fun pattern acorns, and then I chose two pieces from the same line to go with it. We have kind of this orange plaid and then a brown wood grain. For my card stocks, I didn't get them all out here, but I am using all ivory card stock. So I have nine for the card bases and three plus scraps for my matting and sentiment piece. Normally, I would have went with white card bases since that is what is in the background of my pattern paper, but I thought with it being fall, a warmer card stock like ivory would work well also. Let's go ahead and take a look at my first set of cards for the month. I hope you enjoyed that look at my first set for the month. I had a great time putting these together. I think that split panel front is fun and unique and I hope you enjoy making some as well. Let me tell you how you can download the free printable. As always, I do ask that you are subscribed to my channel before you click on the link, which I will tell you where it's at here in just a minute. We do just go on the honor system here. I don't make you send me any proof. Please just make sure before you click on the link that you have already clicked on the subscribe button. It's free, it's easy, it's right below this video. You are gonna find this month's link down in my description box right below my PO address. You can just click on it and use it on screen or you can download it to your device and print it. Speaking of printing, even though I have mine in color, you can definitely print this in black and white and it will work just as well. Below the link, it will say to watch the video for a password, but as always, you watching this far is your password. I appreciate that you take the time to watch the whole video to find out where that link is. 
Don't forget, if you're going to show us your sheet load, to use the two hashtags above. And make sure to come back tomorrow to see how I made these cards and see what my team of collaborators has created. Until then, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.